Hello and welcome to a special episode of our Warlords Q&A series. Today we're going to be going through nearly 100 questions taken directly from the official Stronghold Discord on the various campaigns, characters, units and other features that will be in the game at launch. Uh, we're going to be doing so with our senior programmer Matt Smith. So let's get into it. 100 questions about Warlords. <laughs> Polan asks, will there be an option to speed up game time? Yes. Lizard Addict Diamond Arrow asks, will the map editor be like Stronghold 1? Uh, we'll actually be using the same one we did for Crusader 2, um, but with a bunch of uh, improvements and things to make it a bit more user-friendly. Mm asks, will there be shipbuilding in Warlords? No. Mm again asking, will castle management be similar to Stronghold 2? Um, we're going to have a bit more of a sim focus on this one than we did for the last few games uh, with all the things like you know, spirit and diplomacy. Um, tea. Tea, yes, tea. New resource uh, chains. But yeah, no, there'll be a lot to keep you and your villagers occupied. Lurker asks, will multiplayer be via P2P or dedicated servers? Peer-to-peer. -peer. Lurker asks, will Warlords have a spectator mode for multiplayer? Not currently, but it's a, it's a cool idea. Lurker again asking, will there be matchmaking? Yeah. Vizwi asks, will there be healing units in the game? Uh, no, um, you don't need healing if the other guy's dead. Dia asks, how many unit types will there be? Uh, 16, um, plus a bunch of siege equipment. Sailda asks, will you have hotkeys to access build menus? Uh, we're looking at adding some hotkeys in. Um, we're also looking at uh, maybe a, like a grouping system. DP asks, can we make our own voiceovers for the game? I mean, sure. We're not going to stop you. <laughs> yeah. Pepic05 asks, will there be a normal campaign and a skirmish trail? We'll have a full 24 mission campaign, um, plus a bunch of other modes, which I believe we haven't announced yet. Nope. Keep so, your mouth shut. Yeah, I'll stop there. Dobman asks, will Warlords have more AI than Crusader 2? Uh, including all of the Warlords, certainly, yeah. Lurker back again asking, will Warlords support AI scripting and modding tools? We'll have Steam Workshop support for maps and custom scenarios, and that should be in there from day one. Adam Johnson asks, how will influencing and buying out Warlords work? Good question. Stay tuned for further videos. Yep, more details coming down the road. Raxo asks, will another player be able to destroy the enemy's stockpile? Oh, yes. The Moon Knight says, when the terrain is burnt by fire, is the effect permanent? Not sure yet. Uh, it's actually something we're playing with uh, at the moment. Probably it'll last for a while at the very least. Kianashi asks, what if enemies demand obedience while troops are present in a ward's castle? It will certainly be harder to get obedience. Again, I think we're going to cover that in a bit more detail down the line. We are. He's learning. Kianashi asks, will diplomacy points have a one-step production chain? Uh, yes, they will. Werner112 says, can you tell your warlords what they should focus on? Yep, uh, you can order some them to attack, supply with resources, um, and a bunch of other stuff, but they will be under your control. Let's jump into recruiting a warlord so we can finish the uh, wall over here. So we're going to click on the Ox Warlord. We're going to spend 118 diplomacy points to demand his obedience. So you can upgrade him, you can ask him for stone or wood. So because I've got this unfinished wall here, I'm going to ask him for some stone. Dia asks the important questions. Uh, if war dogs make a return, will we be allowed to pet them? It's a nice idea, but they are war dogs. Yeah, rabid, right? Rabies. Yeah, I mean, the clue's in the name. Kianashi back again asking, will the enemy AI also use the warlord system? Oh yeah, they definitely will. Artican asks, will there be some sort of honor system for ranking up akin to Stronghold 2? Uh, no honor system as such, but you will be able to rank up your warlords um, and build prestige with them. Willier asks, will there be a diplomacy game mode with alliances and trade? Yeah, that's what the warlords are all about. Fade Fury asks, will trees regrow like in Stronghold 1? Uh, no, no, we'll be sort of following the more recent titles in terms of how the resources work. Distacord asks, will there be a type of market inflation in multiplayer? Uh, no, I think we've got enough going on yeah. already. There's a lot of sim game playing there already. Yeah. Yeah. Matej H7 asks, will there be more than one type of archer and swordsman? Oh yes. Knight of Fate asks, is it possible to build buildings against castle walls? It is now, yes. Legolas asks, will we see DLC with European lords and old units? No. 
Now, we've got the new setting and we're focusing on that. Hawk asks, will Strong of Warlords only be available on Steam? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably better yeah. poised to answer that. DRN asks, will there be Keshuks in Stronghold Warlords? Uh, stay tuned. I think there's a Units video coming up. There is. There's another one. There's another two. Joffrey asks, will the AI characters have animated taunts and voice lines? Yes, yes, they will. Hawk asks, will Stronghold Warlords ever be a free game? I mean, we need to eat, so probably not. <laughs> Revolt asks, why did you choose this particular era and theme? Two words, awesome castles. Hawk back again asking, will you give away copies as Discord metagame prizes? Do you want me to take this one? Yeah, maybe. Quite possibly. Only one way to find out. Join the Discord. Crow Lotus asks, are the original creators of the games still on the team? Oh yeah, Simon and Eric. Uh, still very much involved, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Neil and Dave show. from Stronghold 2. Yeah, yeah. They're actively on Stronghold. The and then Scottish contingent. The Scottish contingent. And then... Uh, Andy and the Darrens, they're on Romans as well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they've been uh, around for, since like pretty much day one, so. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, quite a few. Crara Lotus asks, will farmland or wasteland be the default base terrain? Uh, we've got quite a mix this time around, so. Depending on which campaign, right? Yeah, yeah, no, there it really isn't a default. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Articant again asking, will there be a mantlet-like unit? A mantlet? Um, it's there. I've seen it. It's in the game. There's an actual straight answer for you. Lordy asks, will there be a Castle Attack Warlords edition? Probably not. Sorry, Lordy. Play the original. No one asks, is there any way I can play Warlords right now? Not right now, but if you get on Discord, probably some point soon. Loafcat asks, will there be more Discord competitions after release? For sure, yeah, yeah. Legolas again asking, will there be torture in the game? Uh, yep. Fear Factor's back, so those peasants better behave. Fear Factor's back, baby. Yeah. Rachel D. Blackguard asks, will Stronghold Warlords launch on Google Stadia? Articant again asking, will there be a troop unit cap? Yes, uh, but with an option to remove it. Raxo asks, will the tax system be like the original Stronghold Crusader? Like Crusader 2, uh, but with a bit more depth. M. Moorhead asks, will the AI change tactics each time you play them? Yeah. Eternity Lux asks, will you choose your faction or will the barracks have all units? Uh, the campaigns are going to have a bit more of a focus on the individual factions, uh, but like skirmish, multiplayer, that sort of thing, uh, you'll have free reign. Ice Cube Z asks, "Can we see Aaron smile again?" Aaron, come on. No. Let's let's see him smile. No, no smiling. There you go. Christoph asks, "Will a Polish translation be available?" Uh, yes. Text, audio, the whole shebang. Raxo again asking, will there be a King of the Hill mode? Probably not, no. Mizo asks, can hovels be placed on inaccessible locations like islands? Peasants still have to you know, get to them. Yeah, I mean, so. like, if you couldn't get to your house, that would suck. Yeah, yeah. HO6Org asks, will there be Shinobi units? Maybe. Letifer asks, will the release date be in early 2020 or December 2020? Probably neither. Lurker again asking, what's your favourite stronghold? My favourite stronghold? Your favourite stronghold. Uh, figure four. Figure four time! Oh, figure four on the walrus! I didn't know it was possible! Cook, cook, two! That's got to be popular the world over. Hey, let me ask you this. Can you imagine if Flair had hooked that? You don't mess with the classics. Solid choice. Yeah. Fade Fury asks us, what is it like to play stronghold warlords? Uh, it's fun. Yeah. You can find out for yourself. <laughs> I really hope the mic's picked that up. Is that my is yeah, that is that my phone? It's your phone. <laughs> That's, That's great. Hollywood asks, when will you announce the winners of the meta game? Uh, shortly after Christmas. Cure asks, will you include the scribe as a cosmetic option to play as? Playable scribe. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Lucky B asks, will map sizes be bigger than in the alpha demo? Uh, yes, that was a medium map, um, and we're going to have large and extra large on top of that. Kimberly asks, can you win missions by attacking with the warlords only? Uh, yes, in fact, maybe some of the missions you can only 
win that way. Tech asks, have you thought about expanding the game with DLC? Uh, we've got some cool ideas for that, but right now we're just focusing on the core game and what's coming at release. Tunsil11 asks, will there be beer to make people happy? Uh, no beer, but plenty of tea. Which makes people happy, right? Yeah, I believe so, yes. You, Mara, asks, how much will the game cost? Probably a similar amount to Crusader 2. Tigrillo asks, will the cows have names? Uh, of course, yeah, yeah, we can't leave out old Bessie. Jesus Christ! Crikey! Seb asks, will the pig be in Stronger Warlords? No. Sonic Coders asks, have you done a background check on the scribe? Can we trust him? We go through a very thorough screening process. He's been, he's been well vetted. Joaquim asks, will there be sushi in the game? Uh, no, no. Uh, he's a peasant. Not high society. Just the essentials? Yeah. Like Waitrose essentials, not like the finest stuff. <laughs> I'm not getting into a political discussion about... <laughs> Hawk asks, in future metagames, can we win full copies of Warlords? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Syed asks a question directed at me, which is, will you dare install Dynasty or Shogun? To which my reply is, why would I do that when my team are already doing an amazing job? Because I'm super hot, boy! Oh! I'm not a rapper. Hawk asks, can our units swim in water? Uh, no, but they can wade pretty well, so... Wading's good. Wading's good. Hawk again asking, are there going to be cutscenes in Warlords? Um, we're shaking things up with the presentation a little bit, so... Um, it's going to be another wait and see for that one. Interphase asks, will we get a scribe specific to a faction? Uh, we will make sure that you always have a trustworthy advisor on hand at, at all, all times. times. Nice. Dobman asks, will there be an economic campaign? Uh, that'll be a hard TBD. Hawk again asking, will there be assassins in Warlords? Uh, a spiritual successor, perhaps. Kimberly asks, will there be balance patches after release? Almost certainly, yeah. Jojo Mojo asks, will peasants speak to you when you click on them? I assume to give you like feedback on your rules and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're quite a chatty bunch. Strange Days asks, can siege weapons use fire to punish turtling players? Oh, yes. Heronana asks, can I command Warlords without opening the Warlord screen? Uh, it's all going to be done through the Warlord screen, um, but it's just a single button click to open that up, so it's not too difficult. So there you have it, nearly 100 questions answered on Stronghold Warlords coming out next year. If you haven't already, make sure you join the Stronghold Discord where these questions were taken from. You can join in the current metagame where you can win access to the alpha demo and more prizes as we go into the new year. And make sure you subscribe here on YouTube for more Stronghold goodness every month.